All right, we've got new details about a devastating strike in northern Gaza. Health officials there say at least 87 people were killed and 40 injured in an Israeli airstrike. Israel says it is also reviewing reports that a shell struck a team of water engineers working in southern Gaza, killing them. In Lebanon, airstrikes are hitting Beirut's southern suburbs. That's according to Lebanon's state media. And it comes shortly after Israel issued evacuation warnings and said it would target Hezbollah financial sites. And the U.S. says it is investigating the leak of highly classified intelligence. The information included intelligence on Israel's planned response to Iran's recent missile attack. Let's bring in now Matthew Chance in Tel Aviv. Matthew, uh, what do we know about Israel's latest military operation in Gaza? Uh, well, it, it seems to be continuing because, as you just mentioned, uh, over the course of the day, Palestinian health officials say that at least 87 people in the Gaza Strip have been killed in a single Israeli uh, airstrike. This is Israeli forces press deeper than they have done uh, for a long time into uh, Lebanon, the neighboring country there, amid growing concerns that Israel is also poised to strike out at Iran in a conflict that seems to be intensifying and widening. A quick uh, warning for Drika. Our report has some disturbing images. Israeli forces patrolling the labyrinth of narrow streets in the central Gaza Strip. These, the latest images from the Israeli military. What they say is their continued activity amid the devastation to dismantle Hamas. To the south in Rafah, where the Hamas leader was recently killed. Drone footage of strikes and what Israel says are more Hamas fighters and infrastructure. <laughs> While across Gaza, civilians are paying a heavy price. At this hospital in the north of the Gaza Strip, an influx of casualties from a new Israeli strike at Bet Lahim, where Palestinian health officials say dozens of people, including women and children, were killed. Among the shrouded bodies of her family, this woman calls her father to grieve their loss. I swear, Dad, nobody is left, she sobs. Israel says the casualty figures are exaggerated and that they operate against Hamas in a precise and targeted manner. But eyewitnesses at the scene say the Israeli airstrikes felt like an earthquake. It was just Wednesday when an Israeli drone captured the final moments of the Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar's life. His killing fueling hopes of a hostage release, even a ceasefire in Gaza and beyond. In fact, the region seems to be plunging further into chaos, with Israel stepping up strikes, pressing deeper into neighboring Lebanon, hitting what it says are strongholds of Iranian-backed Hezbollah, like here, the town of Nabatea in southern Lebanon. Back in Israel, Hezbollah rockets have been striking the country's north, one drone even hitting near the Israeli Prime Minister's private house in the coastal town of Caesarea. He called it an assassination attempt by agents of Iran, vowing to press ahead with military action. Iran denies involvement and Hezbollah has not claimed responsibility. We're going to win this war. So will something deter you? No. Amid fears of an even wider escalating war. All sides seem bent on pressing ahead. Well, for, well, Frederica, tonight um, the Israeli military has issued warnings uh, for people across southern Lebanon and the Lebanese capital Beirut to evacuate uh, certain areas uh, of that nation. Uh, this, as reports on Lebanese media say that airstrikes have already been underway in uh, the Lebanese capital in Beirut as this sort of conflict in the region uh, seems to worsen by the hour. Frederica. Mm. All right. Matthew Chance, thank you so much in Tel Aviv. All right, let's get more analysis now on these developments. Bob Baer is a former CIA officer who served in Middle East countries. Um, good to see you, Bob. So first I want to ask you about this intelligence leak. How does uh, such highly classified information, intelligence like this, um, go public. 
Well, right now it looks like it came out of somebody at the Pentagon, possibly at a senior level, because what the Pentagon does not want to happen is have Israel with the situation draw us into a war with Iran. We're not prepared for it. But what it also tells me, Fred, is that we're very interested in what Netanyahu's going to do next, and he's not, he's not confiding us. Because mm -hmm. as a matter of course, we don't spy on Israel. Only when Israel, well, we just don't spy on it, but it's when Israel is out on its own, making its own decisions and not consulting the White House, that's why they've turned these assets loose on, on Israel to watch what they're doing. Mm. Uh, one thing that has been signposted out loud is that Israel, you know, has been attacking what it says are Hezbollah financial targets in Lebanon today. Uh, previously, Israel, you know, has attacked Hezbollah leadership. Um, and, uh, of course, you know, we, we saw what just happened with the Hamas leadership as well. Um, but in your view, what... what um, is the goal here and what might happen on the other end after these financial targets are taken? Well, it, you know, Hezbollah does not have financial assets. It uses banks in Lebanon. It launders money. Um, they don't have any buildings that they necessarily bank in. So I don't know what the Israelis are talking about. But I think what's happening, the Israelis have decided to go ahead and just degrade Hezbollah until it looks like his you know, Gaza, and that would mean taking out the southern suburbs and villages like Nabatea, which is Hisbal is concentrated in. And also, let's not forget, they don't have all the tunnels that Hisbal uses. And the last thing that Israel needs right now is to declare a truce and pull its troops back and then have Hisbal fire more rockets into northern Israel. It'd be a catastrophe for, catastrophe for Netanyahu. Mm. And, and what do you anticipate now that Hamas's leader, you know, Sinwar, has been uh, taken out? Um, what does Hamas do? How does it reorganize? I mean, what, what is the infrastructure already in place for his eventual demise or potential demise? Well, look at it this way, and, and this is reductive, is his, Hamas is a death cult. It is heavily involved in suicide bombings. And they're looking at Senwar's death. He's a martyr now. And he's going to be looked up to. And the command for Hamas is very flexible. And it's devolved to secondary leaders, which are going to be much more difficult to get at. But the Israelis are still taking major losses in, in Gaza with their, with their soldiers dying, even commanders. So this war is by no means over. All right. Bob Bear, thanks so much. Good to see you.